Let the live battle begin. Oh, there's a full pit. Sounds big. The dice getting the white pulse of whiplash. Now whiplash has been pinned. The dice not doing a good job. Not hitting the walls and the handle. Oh, there goes the back piece of whiplash. Oh, the dice will move to help them out there. Oh, they're getting underneath. Oh, they flip with that. Some big dominance from the horse side. Oh, there goes the wedge. Well, we may have another upset. Eight holes to one team. The one team isn't doing so good. Oh, big hit. And a double. Oh, huge hit. Oh, got a whiplash by the edge. Side and can use this wherever it goes. He's finding a good lash in the corner. Oh, another hit. And he's going to see his whip tie number one. Oh, another huge hit. And another. Well, gotta be honest. Even if the fly will go forth, I think Whipside still would have won this fight. If you look at this, uh-oh, here comes Whiplash. Uh-oh, the Paul Weisel has something to say. And it's, I'm not good enough to save you, Whiplash. Oh, and that's going to be it. Whiptide can't sell play. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, that's still a knockout. Whiplash advances to the next fight. Let the bot battle begin. Oh, Tangerine has the low ground. What can Sobley's do to get an attack? Tangerine keeping his one pointed at Sobley's. Has got him over by the screws. Uh-oh. Sobley's just got itself stuck in the screws. Now normally against a spinner, they can just knock Sobley's out. But it might be hard for Sobley's to get free, but it does. What a move by Tangerine to start the fight. Now they got Sobley's in the corner again. Man, who would have thought a box would be so good at winning fights? Uh-oh, he's got him in the screws again. Uh-oh, is this it? Is this gonna be it? Oh, looks like Sobley's just got stuck, but it's not going to be it. They got out. Tangerine getting him in the corner, and he's dominating the fight so far. Sobley's wishes it could have low ground. Maybe when they get on top of... Oh, they got underneath. What are they going to do? They can do some damage to the wedge and feed it into the screws. Tangerine's defenseless like this. Sobley's put a dent in the upper part of that wedge. And at some point, they will have to let Tangerine go. Is it possible? Sobley's with another shot. They're gonna try to get as many as they can during this time. All right, can Sobley separate itself from Tangerine? It looks like It cannot, so we will manually separate them. Or zoom. Oh, and Tangerine back up the attack. Underneath Sawblaze trying to get in the screws. Tangerine did good, but Sawblaze definitely fighting back with that the way they got under him. Gotta get it at the focal angle from the side. Tangerine pushing him into the wall. Oh, he's trying to get him in the screws. Oh. A beast goes flying. Oh, they're just using their weapon against them, trying to get them to hit the wall. Of course, it's not really doing much, but it's showing it's the judges that Tangerine is the one in control. Oh, and so is the total article. Uh oh, probably by the screws again. 
Oh, Sawblaze almost got under them at almost wall. Tangerine. Sawblaze's forks are no match for Tangerine. Can Sawblaze move? Oh, they got stuck for a second. Tangerine delivering them into the scrooge again. But the time is about to end, and that is it. Alright, we have reached a decision. For damage, it is 3-2 to Tangerine. Because while Sawblaze did get this dent in Tangerine, Tangerine got this whole piece off. So, that's why damage goes to them. As for aggression, we have a 2-1 for Tangerine. Because, well, they were dominating the fight, but we're not going to give them 3-0. Because it didn't look like it, because Tangerine was pushing them. But Sawblaze was engaging in contact with Tangerine. They were going towards Tangerine. It just didn't look like they were pushing on him very much, because Tangerine was getting under them. And lastly, for control, we gave it 2-1 to Tangerine. Again, not 3-0, because Sawblaze did have that moment where it got underneath Tangerine. But Tangerine was in control for most of the match. So that's the decision. Tangerine wins and is on to the semifinals. Yes, you heard it there. The number 12 seed, a box without a weapon, has made it to the semifinals and is up against the one seed, Whiplash. Let the bot battle begin. All right, here we go. The battle of the two bots that beat Fight Force in Explosive Hit Season 2. And right now it's Blacksmith hitting Duck and hitting them with a hammer. Duck's trying to use his lifter to escape, but they can't. Now it's out to low ground. Now it's Blacksmith in the corner again. Duck's lifter is up. Probably doesn't want that. Oh, Duck got a piece off of Blacksmith. There was a good stump. Uh oh, the Blacksmith. Well, he almost got the top piece off Duck. Oh, Duck with a good push. Uh oh, Duck kind of vulnerable like that. Oh, they got a spin. That was cool. Good throw to these bottles. Very fast. This fight's gonna be fun. Blacksmith again trying to use the screws, but probably isn't helping the fact that... Oh! Duck's got Blacksmith on the screws. Is he going out? Oh, that was awesome. Duck almost got Blacksmith out, but he didn't finish the job. But if Duck can do that, he's probably looking good for him. And now Blacksmith keeps hammering him. Duck has the more powerful glide train. Oh, and a top piece that is reluctant to come off. But Blacksmith has just been relentless with the hammer. Oh, now that is a game changer. Duck's wheel is gone. Uh-oh, but he's still got Blacksmith in the corner. Oh, and he's still able to push him with one wheel. And the top piece finally comes off. Well, now Duck's control is going to be very limited. Oh, or maybe not. He got underneath Blacksmith. But Blacksmith escapes. The pulverizer goes in for a pass. It's been a very close match with a minute to go. And Duck's underneath again and flips him over. Uh -oh, flips him up a piece. Blacksmith using the hammer, but Duck is able to push him. That wheel doesn't seem to be affecting it much at all. Blacksmith trying to be as aggressive as he can with the hammer. Now he's got a good time, Duck. Uh-oh. This could be bad for Duck. Blacksmith is not letting up. All right, damn Duck, get out of the corner. About 40, I mean not 40, 20 seconds left to go in the fight. Blacksmith was a miss. Uh-oh, Duck got stuck again. They were underneath. Blacksmith escapes. Blacksmith again with hammer shots as the final seconds tick down. And Duck with the last lift. That is going to do it for this fight. We'll go into the judges. For the decision, we have 3-2 damage for Blacksmith, 2-1 aggression for Blacksmith, and 2-1 control for Duck. So Blacksmith wins. Let the bot battle begin. Oh, well there was the first flip. Now the great question is, can Tombstone move? Oh, he can. He gets away. Blanco seems to have made him mad. Uh-oh, there goes a piece.
Oh, good hit. Blanco a little bit delayed on the flipple now. There goes the other piece. Oh, Tombstone was so close. Now he's hitting the wall. Blanco's waiting for Tombstone to come at him. Now Blanco's having problems with the remote again. Like we saw in his last fight. Tombstone's trying to get into the school room, but we all know how good of a control that Tombstone is. Oh, the back piece of Blanco is coming loose. Blanco is struggling right now. That one flip at the beginning was the best hit. Oh, they almost did it again. Tombstone's trying to get to the back to get that piece. Oh! Well, Tombstone's good at escaping when Blanco comes at them. Uh-oh. Blanco slows at the back. Tombstone got on top of him in the long spot. Oh no, Tombstone's upside down again. This Tombstone has horrible reception when it's upside down. Blanco could leave it upside down if it wants. Did a good attempt to get it into the hazards. Tombstone got away quickly. Oh, that wasn't really a flip. That was more of a Blanco just launched him. Now he missed again. Oh, another flip. And Tombstone is stuck. Blanco looks like it might want the eye of the arena. Tombstone isn't moving. When Blanco stops engaging, we could have a count. Or not. Tombstone is getting out. Oh, he gets stuck again. Blanco coming alive in this fight. Tombstone, mad with the pulverizer. 40 seconds to go. Oh, uh-oh. Blanco missed. Oh, Mo gave him a problem and they couldn't fight him in time. Tombstone with another hit to the wheel. And the wheel that doesn't make much of an impact. Uh-oh, they escape again. Oh, Tombstone's got Blanco on the screws and it's got him upside down. There was not enough time for a countdown, but what an amazing move that was by then. Tombstone got to finally get the back piece off. Nope, that's the end of the fight. All right, we are back with the very close decision. Forced damage. Tombstone lost one piece, Blanco lost two pieces. So we have it 3-2 damage to Tombstone. Then control. It was pretty even for most of the match, but that last move at the end by Tombstone shifted control to its favor. So 2-1 control to Tombstone. And as for aggression, well, to be honest, we felt control and aggression were pretty equal among both bots. So we made that, but of course we can't make them equal because there's three points for each. So we decided to make the total of control and aggression equal. So they both got three points each for control and aggression. So Tombstone had its 2-1 for control, and Blanco gets 2-1 for aggression. So control and aggression are equal, and Tombstone is ahead on damage, so Tombstone wins in this very close fight. Let the bot battle begin! Uh-oh! Reflash again with the driving issue. He's gonna get around to whose side. Oh! It's Whiplash with the low ground. And there goes the wedge and the driving issue's gone. But now, Tangerine is underneath Whiplash. Oh, it looks like that wedge was key for low ground. Tangerine trying to deliver under the screws. Here comes Whiplash with the lift. Oh, those treads, they're coming off. Whiplash is making short work, but the train has come back on. Tangerine with a comeback heel. Now he's got Whiplash by the edge. He beats Sawblaze. Can he beat Whiplash? Uh oh, maybe not. Whiplash looks much better than Sawblaze. Hence why it's ranked number one. But Tangerine is not giving up. He's doing his best to push Whiplash into the wall. What can he do with him here? All the screws in its future. Oh, that didn't work. It just lifted him on top. Oh, Whiplash missed a lift. Whiplash needs to take advantage of the few moments that it can lift. Like this. Oh, he's almost got Tangerine upside down. 
Tangerine obviously can't sell white, so that would be guaranteed victory for Whiplash. Oh, they just shattered their own wedge by ramming into it. So Tangerine is low off on the front, but if Whiplash gets around to the side, which it's easy for them to do, they have the low ground. Now you saw there, Tangerine just got out of the way in time. Oh, that was a nice lift. Now once again, uh, getting underneath isn't everything. It allows you to push pedal, but it would be nice if Tangerine could actually do something to whiplash while they're underneath, not just pin them. Like maybe get them into the screw, like this. What's gonna happen? Anything? Well, the back of whiplash is a hollow thing to get into the screw. Tangerine doing its best. 40 seconds to go. Oh, Tangerine almost did it. They got the back piece off. That's good for them. And Whiplash goes right over them. What's Tangerine gonna do this time? Oh, they almost did it again. Whiplash drives way right up the front wedge. Time is ticking down for any of these bots to make a big move. Whiplash got a few big lifts, but Tangerine has been in control throughout. And now, Pulverizer is kicking in in the last five seconds. And, and, will Whiplash get that lift? Will not. Or it will. That's the end. Okay, here's the decision. For damage, well, both bots lost two pieces. I know this is three, but... Whiplash did that themselves. They rammed into it after it was already taken off. So it's essentially two pieces. And I was at first at a loss for how to count who's going to win for damage. But after re-watching the fight, I realized Whiplash did get Tangerine's turret off at one point. Even though it went back on, they did enough damage to get it off. So we're going to give 3-2 damage for Whiplash. Because if we don't count that, I'm obviously at a loss for what to do for damage. Now for aggression... 2-1 for Tangerine because Whiplash was backing off and after they were going forward, Tangerine was just always advancing towards Whiplash. Rival 2 suggested this. They said Whiplash was going forward and then backing off after attacking. Tangerine never backed down and always went forward. And lastly for Control, 2-1 for Tangerine. They were underneath Whiplash pushing them around a lot for the match. Whiplash did get some lifts though, so we're not going to give it 3-0 for Tangerine. But Tangerine wins control aggression by 2 points, and Whiplash wins in damage by 1 point. So Tangerine is your winner for this fight, and the orange box with no weapon is going to the final, where it faces the winner of Blacksmith or Tombstone. Let the bot battle begin. Oh, Tombstone with the 4 hits. And then Blacksmith couldn't tell that was a hit or miss. Oh, Blacksmith was wedge absorbing the shots, but still getting Tombstone points nonetheless. And he's not doing so good at hitting Tombstone. There's a hit, but Tombstone got him relief. Tombstone pushing around Blacksmith and lands a hit to the side. Oh, he got Blacksmith by the corner with Blacksmith lands some shots to the top. Of course, he can't actually do any damage. Oh, Tombstone finally swings around and lands a hit. Oh, another big collision. Oh, Blacksmith got a piece off of Tombstone. Uh-oh, Blacksmith had Tombstone by the screws, couldn't fire the handle in time. Uh-oh, he almost got that other piece. Uh-oh, what are the screws going to do? Anything at all? Nope. Now it's Tombstone taking Blacksmith into the wall. So now, is that all part of Blacksmith's plan? Because he always has Tombstone corners. Now he's attacking with the back. Oh, Blacksmith let him get to his sides. He's under the panel. Oh. Well, it looks like Tombstone is going to be coming out ahead unless Blacksmith can make some big moves. Smith is ahead on damage though. Now a ton of action.
and heal. Oh, Blacksmith almost pushed Tombstone. And Tombstone again with a shot. Oh, Paul Weisel misses a shot. Blacksmith goes head on again. Blacksmith is slower than we usually see it. The batteries not really giving it a problem, but it is slow. Tombstone goes right into the screws, and Blacksmith is taking advantage and hitting it. Blacksmith missing three shots in a row before finally landing one. But it's been very close so far. Tombstone with another lamb. Blacksmith Besides getting a piece off, he hasn't really done much to Tombstone. Then again, Tombstone hasn't done much to Blacksmith. There's a nice hit. Ten seconds to go. Can either of these bots make one more big move in the final seconds? Probably not. And that's the end. Alright, decision time. Damage, Blacksmith got a piece off, and both were pretty even with their weapon attack, so 3-2 damage to Blacksmith. Control and Aggression, we felt those two categories combined were equal among the two bots, so we decided to give it 2-1 Control to Tombstone and 2-1 Aggression to Blacksmith, which leaves it overall with Blacksmith as the winner. Let the bot battle begin! Oh! Blacksmith has the lower ground over Tangerine. At least it did for a little while. Now Tangerine's trying to push it. Uh-oh, he's got Blacksmith in the corner, and his hammer's stuck, so Blacksmith can't try to escape. Tangerine's doing what it does best, trying to deliver Blacksmith into the screws. But Blacksmith's shown that it does have the lower ground, and it's pinning Tangerine. There's no... Cleo Victor of the ground game every time. Tangerine's gone by the screws, but Blacksmith escaped. Ooh, he almost got to the side. Now he's trying to get him in the screws again. Kinda hard for him though. He just pushes him against it, but doesn't get him on him. Blacksmith mostly just running away from Tangerine. Trying to get to the side. Tangerine just keeps pushing him. Oh, that little kinda good use of the screws. Tangerine doing what it does best, getting under bots, not letting them attack. Blacksmith wait, may want to consider attacking head on, but they can continue to try and get to the side. Tangerine's gone again, over by the screws. What can he do? Trying to get Blacksmith stuck. Didn't work. Uh oh. Blacksmith able to land hits from the back. But Tangerine just got his handle stuck. Well, Tangerine and Blacksmith fought in the New Year's Eve tournament with the same rivals. So it'll be interesting to see how this match goes. Oh, Tangerine's got Blacksmith in the screws. And now he's pushing him again. Can't tell if Blacksmith's handle is stuck or if they aren't firing it. Oh. Well, these walls make it hard for Blacksmith. He has ammo and stuff very much. Tangerine trying to use the back. Not sure why. Oh, Blacksmith just barely missed a side hit on Tangerine. Tangerine got him careful. And here comes the pulverizer. Now he's trying to take Blacksmith for another ride around the box. Where's he going to go this time? 45 seconds left. Oh, Tangerine got him stuck. Once again, when Blacksmith is pinned, it can't fire the hammer because of how the arena walls are made. Oh no, the screws are coming back. Or not. Blacksmith has escaped. Here's Tangerine with a push. There's 10 seconds left. And Blacksmith do something to turn the fight in its favor. Oh, it lands a hit, but it's Tangerine getting the last push. That's the end. It was your championship fight for the tournament with a twist. And here we go. The final decision. Forced damage, which was the hardest category for us to decide. I mean, neither bot lost any pieces, so 
At the end, we just gave it to Blacksmith 3-2 because they were hitting Tangerine with their hammer and I can't tell if that did any damage to the wedge, but at least they were delivering impacts. Even if it's like small amounts of damage, they were at least doing something while Tangerine didn't really do anything. For control, we have a 3-0 for Tangerine. They were getting underneath Blacksmith, pushing him around the whole match. Blacksmith didn't really do anything to get control points. I mean, they got under them for a little bit, but they didn't really do much during that time. It was pretty even pushing power between them. And lastly, for aggression, we have it 2-1 for Tangerine because it felt wrong to give him 3-0 aggression because Blacksmith was doing all that with the Tamil, but we didn't want to give him 1-2 because Blacksmith was, they weren't really facing Tangerine for most of the match. They were trying to get around and get to the side and that just allowed Tangerine to get to their sides and push him into the wall. So there you have it, 3-0 control for Tangerine, 2-1 aggression for Tangerine, and 3-2 damage for Blacksmith. So that leaves it 4-7 for Tangerine. So yes, the orange box without a weapon just won the tournament with a twist.